Hey guys, don't be grim because I'm dreary and today we are going to be looking at another OC review. Um, you guys have truly passed my expectations as a few days ago we made it to 100 subscribers. That is insane. But without further ado, let's hop right into the first OC. Okay, so the first OC's name is Melody. The age is 16, she is female. She stands at an impressive 148 centimeters and her weight is 54. And she is a Australian Blue Shepherd. Melody likes lavender, the color purple, and allies of the LGBTQIA+. She dislikes homophobes, pedophiles, and the color green. Her favorite food is frozen yogurt pops, and her least favorite food is salmon. Alright, so Melody has no backstory, so we'll move on to the artwork. Starting with this, it is obviously in template, which I think is cute, but it, this one has some insimilarities from all the others. You see, there's a small tuft of hair here, but in the second one, there's a larger tuft of hair, and I believe that this was a commission made for the artist. And in the last one here, the tuft of hair completely changes colors. I know that it's a small detail, but and really doesn't matter, but, it, but I do feel like it is worth something. Also, these are adorable. That isn't a nitpick, I just love it. Uh, but I would like to see your actual artwork, because I feel like the commission and template doesn't really show what you believe the character fully looks like, and I would love to see your artwork. Okay, moving on to final thoughts for Melody. My final thought would be maybe a bit of a uh, backstory, because I don't know if this character has a backstory, but if it does, I would like to have a bit of that put in. Also, um, why do you not like the color green? The color green is fantastic. That is the best color in the rainbow. You want to know what the best color in the rainbow is? Green. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. It's got all sorts of shades. It's got so many shades. I'm probably going way too far into this, but the color green is fantastic and I will not stand for blasphemy. Moving on to the next one now. All right, on to this one. What is your OC's name? Andre, what is your OC's age? 19. They are male and they stand at five, seven feet tall and they weigh 56 pounds. Their species is a human slash shapeshifter. This comes from the creepy pasta fandom. And Andre likes art, music, nature, and silence. They dislikes, they dislike killing, blood, and the burned one. Their favorite food are meat, and their least favorite food is sweets. Andre Toussaint is a young man that constantly tried to live up to his parents' expectations. His parents wanted him to be the perfect son, but the problem was that everyone thought he was weird or kind of creepy. He constantly looked distressed or uncomfortable. He never found anything funny, and he didn't understand sarcasm. But he loved animals that lived in his garden, seemingly more than his family. The reason people hung out with him was the wealth that his family had. Everyone secretly hated or feared him. People thought that he was stupid or mentally disabled, and it hurt him a lot when he found out, but he played along. He didn't want to be known as the loner who would eventually get bullied. He was already disappointing his parents enough. For the past few weeks, he felt even more uncomfortable than usual. Something was watching him, stalking him. And as he walked home from school, he, this feeling started to grow more and more obvious. But he shucked it off and went home. When he reached the villa, he went straight into the garden to ease his mind. His parents weren't home for the week, so he had the villa to himself. There was a stray cat that always came to him whenever he was in the garden. Andre was playing with a cat and was in his own world. He didn't even notice the being that was watching him was coming closer. And then it happened. Something pierced through Andre's right eye. It burned like hell and he tried to scream, but he couldn't. Something was choking him, the smell of burning flesh all around him. Then he passed out. He woke up in his room, a monstrous thing standing before him. He noticed that he couldn't see a thing with his right eye. When he asked what this thing was, and what it wanted from him, it introduced itself as the burned one, and then it wanted to have some fun. Andre was trembling and started to cry. 
but it just laughed and gave him an animal skull. It gave a clue by saying that his name is now Le Voyant, and that he will have to shed some blood in the near future. After that, it disappeared, and Andre was left alone with his thoughts, a blind eye, and an animal skull. So let's look at the artwork that was sent to us. Here we have a picture of what he looks like in his mask, his boots, his half knife, his half Oof. boots. And it's really good. I can see why they chose to put a mask as it seems like drawing the mask is easier and I love to make things easier while drawing. It makes it a bit cluttered by putting the info right next to it. I would stretch out a bit and then add all the masks and his face and claw gloves to the side and make it slightly smaller. That way your main focus is drawn to the art piece. I did enjoy the fact that it seems to be more rustic than any of the other pieces I've seen so far. But let's move on to the next one. I think my favorite of the pieces that you've sent to me was this one here. It is beautiful and illustrates, it illustrates his shapeshifter powers. It also gives you a strange feeling of hopelessness and despair from the blood streaming into the water. And it gives you a bit of the monster vibes that most creepypastas give people. I find it beautiful and it's kind of calming at the same time, even if it is uneasy. Again, I love this, it's beautiful, and let's move on to final thoughts. My final thoughts for this one. Honestly, it gives you a lot of information on the backstory, which I enjoy. I think longer is better, especially with backstories, as it gives you more information to the character and why they swap. As he completely swapped personalities, as he was constantly bullied, didn't feel like he lived up to his parents' expectations, and that, plus the experience of having an eye torn out and being told and morphed into this non-human thing, it would definitely change a person. And I think this was beautiful. It showed great storytelling, the art was fantastic, and I freaking loved it. All right, so that is the end of today's video, but I want to do 100 subscriber special because you guys hit that milestone and it is fantastic because I've been doing YouTube for years and never really expected to ever hit like even 100. So I'm so glad you guys are here with me today and I want to do something special. So uh, tell me what you guys would like to see for 100 subscribers special and I will do that for y'all, whatever you guys say in the comments. Anyway, peace! She out of here. She outie. Ah.